not every love is love, right? Because yeah. this guy yes. obviously said he loved her, but is it really love if you didn't give her a chance to choose you? Or you didn't honor her, you didn't honor her enough to marry her first before you lay with her. So now you wonder, was it really love or just lust? We have to teach our children the difference between love and lust. Women these days, nowadays, this feminist spirit, it is really a spirit. It is a demonic principality. This feminist spirit, we see the increase in women who literally say from their own mouths, they want men to be obsessed with them. I, I mean, it's all, all over social media. You see women who literally intend to make men addicted to them in many different ways, whether it's through literal overt witchcraft. I mean, witchcraft is more rampant now than ever. You have people on Etsy, you know, websites where you can buy love spells and obsession spells. And, you know, even sexually, in, in my field, you know, there are products that you can use to make your sex feel better to a man. And literally, even the language, we have to pay attention to the language. Even perfumes and cosmetics that are sold, obsession, addiction, lust. I, I saw an eyeshadow the other day. The eyeshadow said sinful pleasures, literally. So we have to pay attention. When we desire to entice men and seduce men to be obsessed with us, there's a problem there. And so many women, you know, I do coach women in femininity. So many women literally want that. They want, oh, I want him. I want to be all he thinks about. I want him to be obsessed and addicted to me. This language is a principality. This is a demonic force. And we have to realize obsession is not love. Listen, men who are obsessed listen, are men who have no control. You don't, control. Want, it. If you, you don't want, want, want a man to be obsessed with you. I had one of those. You, you don't, don't want that. You do not want that. If you want to feel like you're suffocating, if you want to feel like you cannot have any friends, if you want somebody to take you away from your family, if you want somebody to want to do yeah. everything with you, he wants to do movies with you, he wants to go to groceries with you, if he wants to go to the, like you, you want somebody to replace your friends and your family, then I don't think you want that. I think, I don't even think they understand what they're asking for. Okay. Somebody who is obsessed with they you don't. will not let you live. They want to take control of your phone. They want to take control of your emails. They want to take control of your life. Who mm -hmm. wants that? Mm -hmm. They dictate what you wear. Mm -hmm. They dictate what, what, what dictate what type of friends you have. That's not living. That's Everyone true. in a relationship, in a marriage, deserves their own space and their own freedom. We are made free. And so... When somebody's obsessed yeah. with you, they kind of rub you off that. So I don't think people understand yeah. what they're asking for. Absolutely. I had that. Yes. I had that. And I literally could not breathe. Like I was mm -hmm. suffocated. And it sucks the life out of you. Mm -hmm. and, and when they can't yes. have their way, they make lies up about you. And they try to pit your friends against you and your family against you. It's And it's like a never-ending cycle. Mm -hmm. You're literally always walking on eggshells because you don't know what's coming next. I've been there. So. And that's literally the narcissist spirit. The narcissist spirit is a spirit of obsession. They're obsessed with controlling you, with getting you to compromise your values, getting you to be their slave, essentially. Mm -hmm. You know, be their own exclusively for their pleasure. And that's definitely not love. That is the epitome of lust, narcissism, and a demonic principality of addiction. And we know that anyone who's addicted, whether to drugs, sex, or anything, is not in control. And so you're, you're not in control. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways.